Behind me is a world famous Thai boxing gym. And for the next six days, I will be taking daily private lessons in the art of the eight limbs before finishing off with a full sparring session with a Thai boxing champion. Why? Because I want revenge. You see, last year I fought a Thai boxing legend and he beat me up so badly that the video became a viral sensation. That's why I came to Thailand with my girlfriend Louise. That's me. Because if you can't beat him, join him. Day one. I know what you're thinking. Jesse, are you gonna quit karate and become a Thai boxer? Not really. Because in the legendary words of Sun Tzu, if you wanna win a thousand battles, you have to know both yourself and the enemy. I am here as an undercover karate nerd to see what I can learn about Muay Thai to improve my karate and not the other way around. The lesson started off by learning the stance, just like in karate. Except the Muay Thai stance looks nothing like karate. Luckily, our teacher was a grandmaster who had been teaching champions all over Thailand and had over 250 fights himself. And although this might look simple, changing my fighting stance is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. And as if that wasn't enough, then I had to stand on my tippy toes while dropping my guard and swinging my arms around. Although it seemed to be pretty easy for Luis. Okay, good, okay. No, 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 no. Listen, I'm not gonna lie, I thought my karate background would make things easier, but it seems to be more of an obstacle. Unless your name is Louise. And did I mention she's Southpaw? So she's doing everything right now, mirrored. After only one hour of training, we had learned more practical fighting techniques than the average karate practitioner learns in six months. It was time to finish off the workout with some cardio on the heavy bag. And believe it or not, the assistant instructor was the champion that I will be fighting in one week. The very first Muay Thai lesson done. What did you find most difficult? Well, honestly, I found most of it difficult. Maybe it's about the muscle memory, since you've been practicing karate all your life. But karate has a lot of the same moves, like the uppercut and the elbows and the hook. You find those in traditional kata, but we rarely start using them immediately with full force. So what I'm trying to say is, maybe it's not so much the techniques that differ karate and Muay Thai as it is the training methods. Because if karate was practiced in this way, I think it would be way more effective. Day two, here we come. <laughs> My calves are so sore today. How do you feel? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about what you said yesterday, and I don't think this has anything to do with my muscle memory. It's something else. So we need to do a little bit of shopping before training. Hold the camera, and I'll be right back. Ta-da! Nice hat. I'm not talking about the hat. The shorts! They even say Thai boxing on See, them! See, the thing is, when you look good, you feel good. And when you feel good, you do good. This is a game changer. Morning. Hello. How do I look? Like a tourist. What? <laughs> Just like yesterday, we started off by running around the room and doing some light stretching. And then, my mind was blown. Because now I actually got an explanation to why we swing the arms in some techniques. Turns out you're supposed to pull your opponent into your technique. But that's not all. We learned several new ways of countering the opponent, catching their legs and tripping them. What do you think, Luis, so far? Yeah, it's harder than yesterday, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was time to put on the gloves and go full force. But the shorts didn't make my technique perfect. I still kept forgetting to come back to the Muay Thai stance. 
and standing on my toes still didn't come intuitively. But at least I didn't kick him in the balls. <laughs> now at this point, I thought the class was over, but it turns out we were about to learn a secret technique. Yep, this is exactly what it looks like. You're supposed to run towards your opponent, climb up on him, and then elbow smash him straight down on the head. Just see how is your ice cream? Oh, this this tastes so good. What do you think about the training? Because I thought this was so much fun. Yeah, it was fun, and but quite difficult, I think. The learning curve is quite steep. We accelerated ac accelerated a lot, I think, in just one day. What are you laughing at? <laughs> at the food in your mouth. You look like a tourist. <laughs> Admit it, that was a good idea. Yeah, it was. And now, I need a massage. <laughs> this is hard. Look, uh, film him instead. Today we got our very own hand wraps, and I was really excited to maybe learn some clinch fighting. But something was different. Our coach barely said a word, and he was joined by the young champion, and none of them were smiling. It appears that the fun and games were over. Because today, me and Louise didn't share a pad holder, we had one each. Which gives you half the recovery and twice the fatigue. After smashing pads for an hour, it was clear that we were not gonna learn any clinching today, and my shorts had obviously lost their magic. Okay, so I'm dead. How do you feel? I'm twice <laughs> as dead. They're killing us. Yeah, and today I said to Jesse before we came here that I was a bit tired, and of course it was like the hardest session. Man, and it's not even over yet. No, we're only was, halfway yeah, there. Yeah. We had to do. The unthinkable. Rest day. Wow. Today we decided to go on a cooking class to learn authentic Thai cuisine. And trust me, this is some of the tastiest yet simple food that you can make. The only problem is getting some of the ingredients, especially for a Westerner. And sometimes the chili can get a little bit too spicy. And just like in the martial arts, it all starts with proper preparations and foundations. This is today's workout. <laughs> oh, and we were also joined by an American lady named Ali. Thai beef salad. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing, yeah. <laughs> what do you think? How in your mouth, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably not gonna eat for a couple more days after this. Just kidding. I eat all the time. And to finish off the day, Louise wanted to review some of the techniques we had learned on the beach. Because tomorrow we needed to be sharp. As we arrived at the gym, everything seemed to be fine, until we noticed this. What happened? Turns out, our coach had injured his hand, and therefore we would only be training with the champion today. Our training started off on the heavy bags, and after learning a couple of cool combinations, we went straight to pads. But this time, the pads hit back. This was incredibly valuable for my upcoming fight. Because the two things that we hadn't learned so far were how to defend and how to clinch. And luckily, today we got both. 
for the very first time since we arrived, we finally got to step foot in the ring and learn one of the things that the Thai do the best. How to fight in the clinch. But just like in karate, the smallest details make the biggest difference. Now I think we really should practice at the beach. There is yeah. so much stuff to remember and it's just getting harder and harder. Yeah. Luckily, there is an ancient battle-tested method from Japan of memorizing things mm -hmm. from karate. And this evening, we're gonna use it. It's called kata. I'm on my last pair of underwear and I'm not gonna go commando in those Muay Thai shorts because they don't hide anything. <laughs> it's disgusting. Oh, wow, oh, it's working. So we should be back here in one hour. And while the washing machine was doing its thing, I had to show you something amazing that I discovered on the beach. This right here is called a Shisa in Okinawa, the birthplace of karate. And I had no idea that they had them here in Thailand as well. But then again, it's not that weird because all of the Southeast Asian countries had lots of trade back in the day. So the Philippines, China, Siam or Thailand as it's called today, they all had trade routes that connected through Okinawa. And traditionally these things are actually supposed to be outside of your home and they protect your house from typhoons. So they bring good fortune. Now Jesse is creating a Thai boxing kata so that we can remember all the techniques we've been practicing this last days. Contrary to popular belief, kata is not just a silly dance, but originally it was a way of reinforcing the neurological pathways associated with important techniques that you wanted to remember. This is what the ancient Greeks referred to as a mnemonic device or a memory tool. Perhaps that's why the old karate masters said that kata was the essence of karate. So today is the last day before the big moment, the sparring session. Yep, and I am so excited because now we're gonna finally put everything together. Yeah. How are you feeling, Louise? Well, I'm uh, a bit nervous, I think. Really? Yeah, because I, this is like my final exam because right. I won't spar. That's so true. yeah and last time he told us like now you go home practice yeah we got homework yeah <laughs> let's see if we've done our homework yeah let's rock and roll today's class started with the heavy bag and my favorite exercise was attacking the swinging bag which teaches you to transfer your power without knocking yourself back Next up, we stepped into the ring, but I was immediately asked to exit because this was Louise's final test. It was time to see if she could put together everything we'd learned this past week. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm impressed because I remember there were some times during these past days when Louise was feeling overwhelmed, but she stayed consistent and now it's all coming together. I am so proud. Now with me on the other hand, things were not going like expected. Turns out I still had a lot of basic mistakes to fix. Now obviously I didn't expect to become an expert in one week, but at least I wanted to get the basics down. This was not good for my confidence, and I really needed it for tomorrow's sparring. After getting lots of corrections, I decided to focus on my stance, speed and power, to make sure that I was setting myself up for success. Because although Thai boxing might take a week to learn, I knew it would take a lifetime to master. But I only had 24 hours. Just like that, the moment we had been training for an entire week had finally arrived. 
it was time to put my Muay Thai skills to the test by fighting an actual champion. I had no idea what to expect, but I knew that I would be in good hands because the Thai boxers have great control over their technique, unless you piss them off. The gym had a completely different vibe today and I was even told to wrap my own hands. It was clear that this was not a regular class, but somebody was still gonna learn a lesson. As we touch gloves, I immediately receive a low kick. He was testing my reflexes. I knew that I had a size and strength advantage. But I decided to hold back a little because I wanted to use technique, not physique. But although I'm usually quite playful in my sparring, I was feeling stiff and constricted. <laughs> so unfortunately, the fight was not nearly as exciting as I had hoped it would be. Because I had learned so many moves, but I didn't know which one to use. So I just kept doing the basic techniques over and over again. It was a classic case of paralysis by analysis. Okay. As the fight ended, I was super disappointed. There were so many cool techniques that I wanted to try, but I couldn't beat the champion at his own game. That's when they told me there was gonna be one more round. So I decided to use my secret weapon. It was time to use some karate. That's when I realized my opponent also had a secret weapon. Turns out he had poured water all over himself between the rounds. In fact, I was so shocked I forgot to speak English. <laughs> His plan was obviously to clinch me up. But since he was so slippery, I could barely get a hold of him. <laughs> but what he didn't expect was that I would be using some karate. <laughs> By slightly adjusting my footwork, I could find better timing to avoid his attacks and use more karate techniques. As you can see, I even switched sides, which is considered a big no-no in Muay Thai. And after several intense exchanges, we were both so tired that he just told me to take a break. And just like that, the fight was over. <laughs> we were both super tired, but happy. What? <laughs> I still don't know which martial art is the best, but what I do know is that once you go outside of your own martial art, you will discover that they all have strengths and weaknesses. Because ultimately, the martial art is like a mountain, and there are many paths that lead to the top. But once you achieve the summit, there is only one moon to be seen. Thank you very much. Thank you. And like Bruce Lee said, if you're pointing at the moon, don't focus on the finger, or else you will miss all of the heavenly glory.